Hi, I'm Wanda from Melanda Craft and today we're going to be making a one block baby quilt and this is the block that we're going to be making. I'll show you how to make this. I'm not going to show you how to put the borders on in this video uh, but those the pattern for that will be on the website so you'll be able to go there and see how to finish off your quilt. So we've also made one earlier which I have underneath. I'll just move this aside and you can see here this is one with the borders on it. So this one's all, be, all been quilted and also bound, so it's completely finished. And this is what yours will look like when it's finished. So let's get on and show you how to make it. So here's what you need. One piece at 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And then you want four of these at this size. You want eight at this size, eight of this color. You want four of these, four of these, and four of these. So the first thing I'm going to do is to put these pieces aside because we don't need them for the moment. I'll just pop them out of the way. Now, let's take these signs off. And no longer need those. All right, so what I'm going to do is just lay out the white pieces. Okay, so I've got those four to start with and I'm going to put the four blue ones on top. So. We'll just put those right sides together like that. So that's those pieces. And then we're going to take another, the other four pieces of white and lay them out. And on these ones, we're going to put this color here. So I'll take four of these and put them right sides together. So that's used all our white pieces up, so we no longer have any of those left. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these two together. So I'll just lay out the green. Now I have my stack of matched squares here, and I'm going to take the first couple and make sure that when you put them down that they are right sides facing so you have the wrong side facing towards you. Now take your ruler and lay it diagonally across the square okay so from corner to corner and just draw a line down there. Make sure you can see it, so I'll go over it a few times. There we are, nice dark line. And what you're going to do is sew a quarter of an inch from that line on either side. Now if you have one of these rulers with the add a quarter plus, you can do the following. So what you'll do is, where this, the inside line is, along here, you'll line that up on your diagonal and draw a line. And then just turn the square around and do the same thing again. Put the diagonal from corner to corner, this inside line. And, draw. and then you'll just sew along those two lines. So that makes it very easy for you to know what you're doing. So now I'm going to show you how to sew both of these. Now I'll sew this one first. This is the one with the line down the center. And then we'll come back and do the one where we use the add a quarter ruler. Okay, so I need to line it up so that I've got a quarter of an inch from the, this middle line. I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to do the same thing coming down the other side. Just line it up. So quarter of an inch on either side. So now with this one where I've used the add a quarter ruler, it's so much easier because the lines are there and I just have to follow the lines down. So 
So I've just lined it up, the drawn line, with the middle of my foot and that tells me I'm in the right spot. Here you go, it's so much easier to do. Okay, so I've sewn all of my pieces and now it's time to cut them. Now if you've just done the one line down the centre, then all you need to do is get your ruler, lay it along the line and just slice it with your rotary cutter. Like that. Okay, and you have two pieces now. And that's our, going to be our half square triangles. Like that. Now, if you've done the other method, where you, I've just removed my pins before I cut. Now, if you've done this method, but you've done it on either side using your add a quarter ruler, then what you need to do is place your ruler in the middle of those two lines and from point to point. And we're just going to slice down there. So I've now pressed my pile of squares and I'll show you just here that I've pressed the seam towards the dark side which is what we generally do in quilting and now it's time to square these up so what I'm going to do is take my ruler and I need to put the 45 degree angle here along the diagonal now in the first cut I'm going to cut um, at five, these have got to be cut to five and a half, but in the first cut I'm not going to put the five and a half inch line along the edge of the fabric. I'm going to come in a little bit, still making sure that this line is on the diagonal. I'm just leaving a little bit of the fabric down the side there and also along the bottom. So that's just for your first cut. Alright, so just make sure that you've got a little bit of fabric on either side showing. And all the while keeping this 45 degree angle on the diagonal. Okay, so now we just trim. We don't need to trim a lot, but and we come back. Now when I get up to here, you normally when you go like you go with your rotary cutter in, it'll drag the fabric so it paste, come in a little bit, come back, and then cut. Okay, so I'll just wipe that away. And now I can just turn this around. And I'm going to cut the other side. Now again, I'm going to put the 45 degree angle along the diagonal. But this time, I'm going to line that five and a half mark there along the edge of the material. And I'm going to do that on the top and on the bottom. So it's going to be exactly along the edge. We're not leaving any excess fabric this time. Okay, so just line her up. And we're good to go. Now we have a tutorial on how to do this if you're not sure. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and watch that. And it shows you how to do these half square triangles. Alright, so there we are. And I'm going to do that with each and every one of these half square triangles. So now that everything's trimmed down, I'm going to lay out the pattern on here as you can see and because it's such a big block I can't get it all in at this stage so I will start sewing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew them together in lots of four. Normally I do it row by row but in this instance I'm going to do like this. So I'll sew those two together and those two together and I'm going to use a quarter inch seam and I'll sew from one end to the next and then when those two are sewn together I'll then come back and sew them this way. Okay, and again, together with a quarter inch seam. So I have my first block together, and I'll just show you how I've pressed these. So I've pressed them with one lot going this way, and one lot of seams going that way. So, as you can see, I've done all of the blocks in, in lots of four. I've done the whole, the whole lot. And now it's time to make the rows, so I'm going to place this one on top of this one. And again, the seams have been pressed in opposite directions, so that they'll nest nicely. I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam all the way down here and when I've done that I'll sew this one to the other side again nesting the seams so we get nice joints. Then when I come to the next row I'll place this one on top of our centre square and then this one on top of here. So I'll do that with all three rows just join them together and then we'll finish off the quilt. So I've sewn all the rows together and now we need to sew the rows together this way. So I'm going to take the top row, put it over the middle row, 
And again, you can see here with the way I press the seams that they go in opposite directions. So these ones go out, the ones underneath come in. And that just makes it so that there's not as much bulk and they will nest nicely. So once we've sewn this along with a quarter inch seam from end to end, we'll bring the bottom row up and do exactly the same thing. So we'll lay that on the bottom there, line it all up nicely, line up our seams and sew it along from one end to the other with a quarter inch seam. Okay, so there's our one block quilt finished, a little robot quilt for a baby boy. And uh, I'm not going to finish it for this video, but we will have it finished at some stage. But the pattern will be available to you on our website. So I'll just show you our little girls quilt that we also did using the same block. And it's got the Kimmy dolls featured in the middle. I just think this block is absolutely brilliant for this sort of thing. If you're looking to make a baby shower uh, present, one of these, you can whip it up in no time at all. And I've also got some little blocks that I did using the same pattern. And I'll do another one and make a table runner. You can put some sashing between them or you could just sew them together. But um, we'll give you the sizes for this block as well. But it's made with the same method as we've just done to complete the other block. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our website for more great tutorials.